Hi, this is Second Story Garage. We're here with a boy and his kite. Thanks for coming in, y'all. Mm -hmm. So, um, a boy and his kite, the, your material stems from uh, your songwriting, Dave, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, um, you know, the first I was aware of you was when one of your songs, Cover Your Tracks, was selected for the soundtrack of Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2? Part 2. That's yeah. right. So how did that all come about? How did you get that gig? Yeah, it's pretty miraculous. Um, my dear friend Latifa co-produced my album and helped me kind of formulate my music and my recordings. And uh, she got basically an invitation from her music licensing person to submit a song. And so um, she submitted some of her songs and and then she just was like, can I send them one of your songs? And she did. And uh, our placement agent, Mike, is uh, just a sweetheart. And he submitted it. And like the next day, uh, we got a call back. And they asked for everything I'd ever done. <laughs> wow. So I sent them an unfinished album and uh, just waited for months and months. And so, uh, so yeah, finally, like, they, they called and put the song under contract and I finished it. I, I mixed it and finished recording it and um, and it was they told me the day before the soundtrack was announced that it was picked. So it was they keep everyone in the, in the dark. So but it was really in the amazing. twilight. Yeah, yeah in, in the, the twilight. twilight. And we could have put it on your record too. Yeah. That was the yeah, other thing. Totally so yeah. and it was I was gonna actually call my album Cover Your Tracks. So I kinda was like, all right, you can have it. <laughs> um, but anyways it was uh, it was an amazing experience. Yeah, um, and Cover the Tracks is one of the songs that you do for us today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's a really emotionally powerful song. Oh, thanks. And, uh, it's, and it's, you're talking about covering emotional tracks. Yeah, right? it's the first song I ever wrote that, like, speaks to every part of who I am. You know, like, my heart, my mind, and my soul. And I just, like, encouraging myself almost to, to take each one of those to its, to its farthest, to completely exhaust everything that I have in order to like find something better. Now did that align with the whole idea it of totally, using it in the movie? They yeah. well I mean I had I had never seen one of the movies when they when they asked for the song. So once I went back and watched some of the movies, it totally did align with kind of the main character Bella who like was just bummed to be in a human <laughs> and wanted to. I know, I know. Yeah. That, yeah. I'm disappointed. <laughs> she, uh, she, but she, you know, she, I mean, she had like done everything she could to experience the most in life, and for her, it was like being adopted into this vampire family. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I didn't know just as exactly There's some what people as vampires. No, so, but it was neat <laughs> that like I mean, it uh, it worked out, and those Twilight fans are like some of the most amazing people in mm -hmm. the world, and I had like yeah. awesome conversations. And, so I'm so bust. That that was some exposure for you. Oh yeah, for being bit. nobody to. Yeah. yeah. So um, and the other thing you do is you run a recording studio I do. in Lafayette. Mm -hmm. um, what's what's that called? It's called St. Ida's, and it's in an old historic church uh, built by coal miners in mm -hmm. like 1904 or something. It's just a really rad, beautiful space to create music. Uh huh. Yeah. Now you don't you don't uh, perform out a whole lot. I don't. But if uh, folks want to hear your music, you do have an album out here, mm -hmm. self-titled album, "Boy and His Kite." One of the things y'all brought us. Appreciate that. Another thing you brought us. We invite all our artists to bring something to help decorate the studio here, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you all brought us a Van Morrison uh, vinyl, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what was the thinking behind this? Were you like, so, they were asking for something, and what do we got? <laughs> so say, there, here's the quick story, is I saw it, and like, I'm a Van Morrison fan, for sure, but I saw the, the record, and I was like, oh, I have to have this. And so, because I work with other artists in the studio, I, I put it on the wall, and like, if someone gave me a pretty bummer take, or they just weren't into it, I was like, hey, man, can you sing this one like Van number seven and like so I'd have like I would point like to like an emotion right yeah and uh, <laughs> and then like no one actually got soul. it it was supposed to be a joke and so finally I just <laughs> took it home and listened to it a few times and now you have it <laughs> no one got it we're gonna have to use that I know like no that wasn't the take how that about that dude, see, this, see this one right there I like that one yeah, numbers yeah. in each corner yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> I like the I like the bottom left one too that's pretty yeah. oh yeah, yeah it's like, and then the Hail Marys oh he just get me back to the bar yeah let's do that <laughs> like that.
that's very ponderous. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you so much for coming and mm -hmm. really enjoyed your music. Thanks, Thanks for right. having us. I'm Boyle and yeah. This is Second Story Garage.